during that time, were there any times where you were like, okay, this shit is getting too thick out here. I'm out here trying to work. We're trying to make it do what it's supposed to, but pimp, it's getting thick in this place right now. Um, I, I can't, I can't say like, um, uh, it, it, it never, like, I never was uncomfortable. Like, you know, mm. I come, I come from the streets of PA. Like I come from the, the short Texas. I come from the fighting in the streets, the wars, the shootouts, escape prison. I almost caught a, you know, accessory to murder. Like, so my environment was that. Mm. So I never was anywhere well, I felt like, oh, shit, you know, it was like, whatever, if we're going to go out, we're going to go out. Yeah. And it was plenty of times where I was putting fires out because I knew if he was like knocked off his stoop again, like getting jammed and getting arrested, he'd be gone. And then our whole movement would be dead in the water again. Yeah. Like we was in some little city one day and I was the opening act, but these other cats had waited till he got there. You know how they do. Try to perform in front of the, you know, the yeah. headliner and, and, and artists. Don't do that, man. If the headliner there chilling, yeah, do, do your thing. But don't just wait till that nigga to get there to start trying to get your shit off. That nigga ain't exactly. paying attention to that shit. Nigga, they'll fuck with them hoes, get their money, whatever, whatever. So I did, uh, I was waiting on them. They were performing. And I had no no thought of cut they show. I'm like, I like what they doing. They got T-shirts on and shit. They got a whole support system. But Pimp was like, hey, man, get them niggas off the stage. So my artist can do his show. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so the DJ, you know, on some bullshit, DJ shut them niggas down. Oh, well, that was such a such, such a such a of love. And them niggas like, what? You know what I'm saying? So them niggas get off the stage and shit, make a long story short. I jump on the stage, do my shit, boom, boom, boom. Hey, y'all ready to see Pimp C? Put your motherfucking hands up. Boom, 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 boom. So everybody like ready. He come on, he do his show. But when he come on, he come on from the right of the stage, stage small. He bringing on uh, bodyguards, a couple more people, and, and Ed, the cameraman. Mm -hmm. So I exit to the left of the stage, and I'm like, I'm going to just enjoy my nigga show. So I stand in front of the stage a little bit, and I'm looking at the show, but I ain't really looking at who behind me and whatnot. And yeah. so while I'm standing there, I feel a nigga bump me in the back of the head with a with a gray goose bomb. So I, I turn around, like, looking to see if the nigga going to say, excuse me. Nigga looked at me like, fuck you, nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm courteous. I step to the side, like, let me get out this nigga way. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so the nigga did it again, and the nigga did it kind of like, hold on. The nigga was like, boop. <laughs> Man, I turn around, say, say, nigga. And, and come to find out, it was all the niggas with them shirts on. <laughs> <laughs> I say, look out, my nigga. I ain't had shit to do with my nigga cutting your show. Y'all niggas shouldn't have tried to perform, you know what I'm saying, when my nigga got you. Yeah. <laughs> but... If I would have reacted like I normally would react, that would have sunk our battleship because nobody know me. Yeah, they would be Pimp C, Pimp C show, Pimp C fight, shut yeah. down club, arrested. You know. Yeah. So, a lot of times I had to take the high road on a lot of just the the the, the intimate shit when we was at different hole in the walls and different shit like that. Exactly. When that money started flowing, was Pimp concerned about how to get that UGK record show on the road, or was it a case of where he would get so much love that it was just going to be a sure thing and it was just all gravy? How did he get his motion back after coming back out of jail? He he had a lot of his solo shit booked, but he also had a demand. Like, you're not getting this UGK shit unless you come with that, that fire out. Yeah, like, like back then, one of the highest paid artists around the third coast area was Paul Wall. Yeah, and so when Pimp was like, "Damn, Paul," he wasn't hating. He was like, "Paul Wall getting that type of money." Well, shit, I know I'm gonna get this type of money too. Yeah. And then me and Bun combined, shit, that's what we want. So yeah. for a while, people were like, "Damn, that's that's you know what I'm saying that's pretty steep." But then I think Dallas was the first people like, "Shit, come on with it." And, and they dropped out and, and UGK, UGK came through that bitch and rocked the fuck out, you know what I mean? And I got to, I got to open. So whoever was in Dallas and I threw my motherfucking UGK hoodie off the stage and you got it, shit, go to my Instagram and say thank you or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, me, Nick. <laughs>